Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My son is watching YouTube behind me, but um, I was gonna film a get ready with me because I was gonna go to an open interview tonight at like an upscale kind of night club place. And so I wanted to get ready and like film, but I'm really nervous and I'm having cold feet and I'm like starting to question, you know, if it this all started is- started with my mom, met my dad. And they fell in love, and they had me. If this Hi, is right. even, like, Am for I me. It's kind of... All right, changed location. Yeah, I'm having, like, second thoughts. I'm, like, so nervous. Like, it's, like, a 20-minute drive. I'm, like, am I really cut out for this? The pros are um, I would only have to work there a couple nights a week and probably get a lot of tips. Okay. I don't know. I'm nervous, and I don't know if I'm going to go... I don't know if I'm going to get through with this. So... Y'all know I'm a barista, but lately it's been really irritating. With the nicer weather, it's getting so busy there. Like the other night at my barista job, I'm not gonna name where, um, but like the conditions were just blah. I'm not saying I'm quitting there, but I've been thinking of other options. This was one of them. And now that it's time to get ready, like I am nervous. So just to catch you up, I showered and instead of like blow drying and like using the flat iron, I decided to just put some gel in. I'm back to like scrunching like in 2007, but I don't like hate it. I have somewhat, somewhat natural wave in my hair. So this is what I went with and I'm kind of liking the dark hair wavy lately. And like, I don't know, I did it on Mother's Day too. And it's, it's a vibe. I also put some of my Benefit Micro Filling Brow Pen in my brows. I also waxed them at home today, so that's the brow situation. I like them, like this brown shade. I like them actually lighter than my hair. I think it looks complimentary to like the face and everything. And then I use my Burt's Bees Green. Uh, aloe stick on my skin so far. That's all I've done so far. That's what you missed just to catch you up. I am gonna brush up my brows a little bit. This is Sephora brow gel, but it's pretty much gone. I usually just use the spoolie and sometimes I'll even put like hair gel on it. This is a latest makeup product I bought myself, the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. Um, I do have a whole video on it. And you see me getting it in my New York City vlog. It's Times Square Sephora. Shout out to you guys. The applicator on this is just so nice. It's like a full on massage. So I am gonna have to go pick up my daughters from school and then we'll continue this. <laughs> I also just don't know if it's like the environment, like, because bartenders aren't responsible if you ever drink. But like, I don't want to be like serving drinks to someone that like blacks out or something, you know. But also, I don't even know if I would do bartending or like bottle service or what. So, all right, one of the moms at school said she likes my hair, but um. I'm still feeling pretty unsure, but I just realized, you know, regardless of whether I go to this interview or not, God is with me and whatever's going to happen is going to happen and it's it's all good. So I'm just going to continue getting ready for now. I'm going to do a little brief uh, lid prime with my Estee Lauder foundation that I like never use. It's a little bit pale. I'm just going to use it for the lids. All right, and then I'm doing kind of like a, what? Stop with the your mom jokes. Okay, I'm gonna do kind of a little second prime here with my uh, L'Oreal Lumi Glow. This is a great luminizing primer. Would recommend. Um, I love my Burt's Bee stick, aloe stick, cause it combats like redness and stuff. And I gave that a while to absorb into my skin. Um, I know I already did my under eye brightener, so I'm not gonna tr gonna try not to s swipe right under the eye there. A little like out of order right now. Okay, so 
Um, Sesame Street Wet n Wild palette, their newest little like character collection release or whatever. Um, my boyfriend got this at Walmart for me for about 15, 16 bucks. But anyways, I do have a, a video on this as well. It'll all be linked below, but there's a shade in here that I really love. Okay, so it's this kind of khaki color right here. The way it goes on, I'm just like a big fan of, so I'll show you guys. This lighting is just beautiful. Everything's so beautiful right now. A subtle, like nice shadow, and I can really appreciate this shade. So I'll use a mix of that same shade and also the darker. Okay, my eyes feel bigger already. I don't know how I feel about this, but I think I'm gonna incorporate this kind of clay brownish orange color here. We're sticking with like kind of neutralies. Um, the dress I'm gonna wear is black with kind of like a creamish tan print, so. Shit. Blend, 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 blend. All righty. And I was thinking about this glitter shade, but I think we're gonna stick with this more subtle metallic -y one. I like going in with this type of shade with my finger. I actually wish I cut the crease with like concealer because I haven't done that in a while. That's wonderful. Also hit the brow bone with that a little bit. Okay, I have this random like brightening shadow stick um, from Amazon. It's actually all the way back from last year when I did like this Amazon makeup video. Um, but yeah, it's good for the lower waterline and it's good to do this step before for mascara. That's what I'm gonna do next. Got this simple cover girl when I grab just to have something around. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much decided that I'm going because my boyfriend kind of gave me some encouragement. So um, I have my Derma Blend foundation. This is a great foundation. I've had it for like two years, which I know, you know they're supposed to expire but exhibit a okay yeah this is the shade is not like it keeps on working for me <laughs> through the seasons see i have to like work it's on its way out it's called flawless creator multi-use liquid pigment so technically it's liquid pigment but i i f with it <laughs> okay don't mind me i'm also trying to make a tiktok while i do this it's uh, I just I genuinely like making content. I just never wanted to like get the best of me So it's good to like take breaks. It's good to like be real on camera and everything like that. I think I think I need a paler Shade along my brow bone. I need to brighten up my brow bone a little Okay, I'm whipping out my Milani Gilded Terra palette just for this off-white kind of bone shade i never really put a brow bone shade besides the highlight so this is literally my la's color my la colors dollar tree island are y'all because it is cheap though you do not you do not want to get it in your eye Hopefully it's not too dramatic. I think I'm gonna leave the under eye alone when it comes to the liquid liner and I'll just do the other eye. Okay, I like getting a bronzer from my Morphe 35XO palette. I won't show it to you too much because it's a little, okay, I totally like butchered that. Wrong shade, it's a little dark, but. I was trying to avoid also not doing my contour too low. That can be a detrimental mistake for someone with an oval face. Alright, I am struggling right now. Okay, 
Before we finish the look, I'm going to do a little baking with my Beauty Creations Banana Setting Powder. It's not too yellowy. It's pretty regular, so... All right, I have to finish making dinner real quick and then I'll be back. All right, I've been keeping it simple with the lashes today. I'm just gonna do a little cluster on the outer edge of each eye. I think this works well, um, usually for people with like hooded eyes so that you don't have a full volume lash kind of taking over your whole eyelid or what little eyelid you do have to show. Amreezy, pretty little thing, lip pencil. If you want to know the shade, watch this video because I can't remember. I'm also going to go ahead with the Reezy gloss because, you know, why not? Perfect duo. Nice thick applicator on this one. Okay, I don't want to overdo it, but yeah, all right. I'm thinking of doing a tiny bit of highlight. But I don't know, I'm like really nervous to do a highlight. I'm gonna do my glowy setting spray from Iconic London. I'll show you real quick. Let's do it. Smells awesome. Very refreshing. I, it will dry, but I didn't do too much. Shoot. Teeny bit of highlight on the nose because I like the nose contour. Can never really get it right in the middle. Okay, I love this dress. It's so cute. My friend Beth gave it to me. This is my first time ever wearing it, but it ties in the back and it's like knee length. I hope this does the trick, I guess. Okay. Damn, this kind of came together. All right. Uh, I'm going to put on some perfume. I'm doing Paris Hilton because I trust her. <laughs> I think I did too much. Okay, I think I'm wearing these heels. Thrifted, they're very dusty because I've like never worn them since I thrifted them. They're from Chinese laundry, but I need to moisturize my foot feet first. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys in the car. We'll see how this goes. Oh my gosh, guys, I did it. I came so close to just driving home because I got down here in downtown and I was just so overwhelmed by the parking situation and scared. Luckily, it's a weekday and it's not that crazy, so I finally like parked somewhere. Thank goodness I didn't get towed. I walked in these heels to the location. I'm sorry, I can't believe I actually like grew some freaking balls and did this. And I got taken up to this room that is above a bar and there's like a like four people like sitting there like like literally I'm trying out for American Idol or something like four people so I do this it was very quick very straight to the point and everything I didn't know what to say he was like how much money do you want to make in a night with tips I was like ah but I did it and I don't know if I got it or not we'll see I'm terrified I can't believe I did this but I'll update you guys okay thank you for watching thank you for watching holy shit